Hello everyone, my name is Andy Fleury. I'm founder and CEO at AlgoTrader. Welcome to this webinar on algo trading in volatile markets. As we all know, the world is not the same anymore as it was a few days ago. Daily lives of many people all over the world have been severely impacted. On the financial markets, we've seen one of the largest crashes ever. We at AlgoTrader have been in algorithmic trading for many years and have supported clients getting through market corrections. In this webinar, I'll share some of our experiences on how to deal with volatile market. But let's start with the good news. For active traders, volatility is actually something very positive. In contrary, institutional quantitative hedge funds fear nothing more than call markets with low volatility. Let's then get started with some best practices on how to deal with volatile markets. One thing we notice very frequently is that many traders pay too much attention to signal generation. However, position sizing is just as important. Try to avoid all in, all out type of strategies. Instead, gradually open and close positions. Your positions should naturally be larger in call markets and smaller in times of high volatility. You can use simple volatility metrics like the ATR for this. Also, good risk management measures are also to gradually take profit and use stop losses. On the stop loss topic, do not use stop limit orders to get out of your positions. A stop limit order will trigger once the stop price is reached, at which point a limit order is placed onto the market. In volatile markets, however, the market might fall straight through your limit. Also, uh, implement an automated pre-trade check to verify your orders are sane, even in unusual conditions. One important thing is also, um, Try to withstand the temptation to manually interact with your strategy. Most of the times, your manual decision will be wrong. So, in case you cannot withstand the temptation to manually interact, do so to reduce risk only, like closing positions, but you should not manually enter into positions. In times of high volatility, consider closing positions overnight to mitigate the overnight gap risk. Also, closely watch margin requirements of your brokers, as brokers might increase those at short notice. What you want to prevent under any circumstance is to receive a margin call from your broker, whereby your positions will be closed at the worst possible time. Your trading strategy is one thing, but operational principles are equally important, especially in volatile markets. Prepare for the worst case. This includes market corrections, but also technical issues. Very often, bugs only show up in production. Network latency has an influence on where your trading system is going to run. This might be your own server, a cloud server, or even a co-location server. Generally speaking, internet connections are quite stable, uh, but the last few days we've seen internet bandwidth issues all over Europe. Also, think about who is going to monitor a trading strategy during the market hours. Um, you should never leave your system unattended while the markets are open. So don't leave the cockpit, even if you're an autopilot. You also want business continuity processes in place. This includes having phone numbers at hand from your broker's trading desk. You also want automated notifications in place for suspicious situations like delayed order acknowledgements, market data interruptions, or out-of-order market data. Also think about having a kill switch in place and decide what that kill switch should do. This could be canceling all orders, closing all positions, or stop trading entirely. This is really your decision and you have to decide what the kill switch should be doing in your case.
Also, keep in mind that most exchanges have circuit breakers in place that cause the markets to cease trading for some time in case of crashes. A good idea um, is to have your strategy react even before the circuit breaker is hit. Here are a few recommendations on how to trade cryptocurrencies in volatile market. But let's start with a cryptocurrency market overview. The crypto sector is still very new. Uh, it's very fragmented. There are over 300 exchanges today. Many of these exchanges operate outside the Western countries and avoid regulatory oversight. Cryptocurrency exchanges are typically privately held companies. They're, they're just startups. So you cannot compare them to highly regulated exchanges like, like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. So what are the challenges when trading crypto exchanges? Assets need to be on the exchanges to trade. Also, um, storage of coins on the exchanges exposes you to counterparty risk. Many exchanges got hacked in the past all the way from Mt. Gox to Binance. Also, fiat transfers take a very, very long time, especially for intercontinental transfers using SWIFT. So what are the characteristics uh, in, in volatile markets? Expect very wide spread spreads uh, in, in volatile markets. As market makers pull their quotes, order book gets thinner and uh, top of book uh, quantities get reduced. Also expect delayed executions. These systems might get overloaded and orders pile up, so you might get executed much, much later than you expect. Also, uh, expect service interruptions. Sometimes these exchanges crash and trading ceases for some period of time. Also expect delayed fiat transfers. As the exchange staff is overwhelmed with requests, it might take days to get your fiat out of the exchange. Here are some recommendations. Pay attention to the regulatory status of an exchange. Ideally, you want to use multiple trading venues so you can shift to another one in case one of them has an issue. Also, uh, prepare for situations that prevent you from getting out of your positions. Ideally, you want to have some sort of hedge in place in case the market crashes. Also, uh, leave only as much on the exchange as you absolutely have to and move everything else into safe custody. When talking about the volatile markets, we also need to talk about the volatility index VIX. Volatility is a measure for price variation on financial instruments over time. The VIX index represents the expected stock market volatility, also called the implied volatility. To be precise, it's the expected volatility 30 days from now. The VIX index is calculated from current option prices in the market. As volatility can be perceived as a measurement of nervousness, the VIX index is often referred to as the fear index. So the VIX tends to rise when equity markets decline, so this is called a negative correlation. This is particularly pronounced during significant equity sell-offs. So the VIX changes asymmetrically to, move in the, to moves in the underlying S&P 500 index. So how can you invest into volatility? The VIX itself is not directly investable. However, there are uh, VIX futures you can trade. Those futures act as surrogates for exposure to the unreplicable uh, VIX. Other alternatives are exchange-traded products like the VXX or the VXC. Um, also, there are variant swaps which are traded over the counter, so they're not traded uh, on an exchange but through brokers. And then, obviously, there are also volatility options available. 
In addition uh, to the VIX, many other global uh, exchanges have also launched similar benchmark indices uh, like the, the, uh, the volatility index on the euro stocks, the DAX, the SMI, and so forth. Let's also talk a little bit about fat tails and black swans. As we all know, market returns are not normally distributed. Extreme market events are more frequent than assumed by the Gaussian distribution. This is called fat tails. The VIX distribution itself is right skewed and has a fat right tail, meaning that spikes in the VIX index happen more frequently than they should. This is also sometimes called a black swan event. A black swan event um, is an event that is so remote that it's completely unforeseeable. Nassim Taleb actually wrote a great book about black swans. In this book, he uses the example of a turkey that is fed every day. Every single feeding will firm up the bird's belief that it's the general rule of life to be fed every day by a friendly, mem by a friendly member of the human race. Then on Thanksgiving, something completely unexpected happens to the turkey that was not foreseeable at all. This is called the black swan. To prevent situations like this, consider having a tail hedge in place that provides you with an insurance against those fat tails and black swans. A good tail hedge produces strong spikes when the market crashes. A tail hedge can be as simple as using a long call option. That might be a little expensive, so a good alternative uh, is using a ratio spread. Um, a ratio spread is typically made up of uh, selling one out of money, out of the money call and buying two more further out of the money calls. Good. This was it. Um, thanks for your attention. We hope this uh, was helpful to you. Let us know your thoughts and good luck to everyone to get through this crisis. Thank you.